Hello guys, welcome back to our new series, well, I mean, isn't really new anymore, actually, Madison, she heard a YouTube video calling. Today is the promised video, I am going to be going over many types of leashes, harnesses, tags, head halters, all that stuff. And showing what's best for individual dogs. Starting off with harnesses. I would have shown a head halter, but none of our dogs pull on a leash like crazy, so we actually don't have a head halter. What it looks like though is kind of a tangle of tough, pretty tough rope. And parts of it go in pressure areas like their nose. So that all you need to do is give it a gentle tug and your dog will come where you need to go. I've used some on other dogs though in my life, like my friends' dogs and stuff, and they work magic. But these, these are regular harnesses. Um, the dog's legs, the dog's front legs go here and it buckles at the back and then there's this little clip where you can clip the leash on. We have two of these. We actually have three. There's a black one. These are each for our puppies. We are training to be service dogs, puppy outfits. But now we use them for Coco, sometimes Cody, and the green ones for Madison. But if you have a dog that isn't like a crazy, crazy puller, but... There's definitely pulling on the leash. A harness would be good so that you don't have to yank them by the neck everywhere if you need to um, do strong counteracts on where they're going. So, these are, but you know, for just a very little pulling dog or a dog you've leash trained, a collar's fine unless a harness collar combination is really good, and I'll get into those later. Our tractable leash. This one is for Madison. It can go up to six feet long. Here is the little lock button, and then this is the lock tab where you don't even have to hold the button down. It just holds it for you. So that's really good for controlling where you want your dog to go, rather than just grabbing onto a bunch of parts of the leash. This one is a very good material, and it's also it also has reflective cuts in its glow in the dark so you can see and at night oh look the dog couch party they all have their collars off because get into that later and then we're on to regular leashes so there are many different sizes colors textures this one's pretty tough this one's cody's it's almost like a rubbery plasticky bendy material um, this is good for puppies who chew on leashes because they can get through fabric really fast. And these often don't get dirty so much. And they're really cute because <laughs> designs can be painted on them. This is just your average fabric leash. This is Coco's leash. He needed a long leash for training. And he still uses it since he's a very good boy. Cody, this is just a shorter leash. Because he sometimes can have uppers short other dogs, but it's really just a shorter leash because he likes to be close to me. And he doesn't mind it at all. So this is probably the longest leash we have. Coco's might be a little longer. Good girl in your crate, Madison. This is Madison's leash. One of her leashes. We'll get into that later, too. It's um, a... Strong fabric and material. These are the, pretty much the same material. Cocoa Madison are both not puppies. They both don't bite. Cody doesn't bite his leash either, but I like this material since it doesn't get dirty or anything. But we work with these fabric leashes. We gave one of these leashes to a friend who also trains an elf pet service dog, and they work very well. It works very well for her. This is our other one of these leashes, but we made it into a connector leash. Connector leashes are amazing because on a regular one, this, instead of a handle, it'd be a clip. It would be a clip, and they'd be as small as you want. You wouldn't have to tie them like this. It's for connecting two dogs' collars or harnesses on a walk, or 
if you want to have a harness collar combination, you clip this with another leash holding onto the handle to the back of a harness, and then this clip to a collar so that they can't, if they slip out of one, too bad, you're still on another one. It's also very good for controlling pulling. These onto collars. So these are just small fabric collars because these dogs don't go outside often. And this is Coco's, this is Cody's. This is Madison. It's a Madison's, it's a tougher fabric, even tougher than the leash. And it's heavier duty because she goes outside a lot. And tags. This is Cody's tag. These are his identification tags, where he came from and stuff. It says, Cody, cutest and friendliest puppy around. This is Coco's tag. It's a certification tag to a group of dog training called the Golden Bone. And Madison's tag is this. It's connected to her collar, so I can't get caught on anything and choke her. Her collar has this little leash connector thingy, but Cody and Coco's, you just have to click, click a leash to the collar. So, you might need a stronger choker collar for dogs that pull very aggressively, but I recommend the head harness better than that. For dogs that um, may be a little scared of the collar, maybe just don't pull a lot, thin collars are fine. And then, outdoorsy, um, neon collars are very good for just your average little doggo or big dog. So that is the end of this video. I hope I helped you decide which collar, leash, tag, head halter, harness is good for your specific dog. Um... You can find any of these types of stuff on PetSmart, Petco, Pet Supplies Plus, Tractor Supply, any of those well-known pet stores. And of course, many supermarkets have pet aisles, so that's good too. So guys, that is all for today's video. Like, share, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you in the next one.